world was on fire and no one could save me but you Strange what desire will make foolish people do I never dreamed that I'd meet somebody like you I never dreamed that I'd lose somebody like you No I'm gonna fall in love no, I don't wanna fall in love. This world is only gonna break your heart with you. This world is only gonna break your heart. What a wicked game to play. Make me feel this way. What a wicked thing to do. To let me dream of you. What a wicked thing to stay. You never felt this way. What a wicked thing to do. To make me dream of you. And I don't wanna fall in love. No, I'm gonna fall in love. This world is only gonna break your heart with you. On fire, no one could save me but you. Strange what desire will make foolish people do. I never dreamed that I loved somebody like you. I never dreamed that I'd lose somebody like you. No. Fall in love. This world is only gonna break your Nobody loves no one. Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So, this week we're doing Chris Isaac's Wicked Game. Now, I was going through YouTube as I do, watching people cover songs on acoustic guitar, and I stumbled on this guy, uh, Yanni, I think his name is, and I saw him doing this beautiful acoustic cover. Um, in a marketplace and what a beautiful guitar player he is so I was kind of watching what he was doing and kind of so I've taken influence from what he was doing really his his little version so I have to give him credit for it so go and check out his video I'll put a link below this is my interpretation I cannot play that song like Yanni okay um, I need a bit more practice but I thought I'd show you a couple of ways to play the song and to kind of um, show you what I'm doing as well. Okay, let's zoom in and get straight into it. So let's start off by looking at the chords. Now they're fairly straightforward actually. We've got B minor, A sus2, and E. And you can put a A sus2 back to E there. So if you're not that advanced and you just want to sing and play along, Thank you. 
You could do something like that, right? Just keep it really simple. If you're not sure of the rhythm, start with downstrokes. So you could do something like that. You could add that little bass in. Strum, one, two, and strum, one, two, and strum, one, two. And of course you can do this with a guitar pick as well. Or just let it hang, I think it sounds quite nice. Do that as well. Down, tap up, up, down, and down, tap up, up, down, and down, tap up, up. So you could do the whole song like that, right? World is on fire, no one could save me but you. So let's have a closer look of what I'm doing with this finger picking stuff. So it starts off third fret on the G string, a bit of a bend. Now I'm bending down. You can bend up whatever you feel most comfortable. Then just going into that B minor, so we want the... Then get that second fret on the top E, which is F sharp, okay? Then I'm kind of play, like playing this B minor, but what I'm doing, I'm removing the second finger, playing that C sharp, which is the second fret on B, and then the open A. Okay, it's very beautiful. And then, so I picked that up from Yanni. I don't think I do the slap in the beginning, so it's a slap and note at the same time. And what you want is the seventh fret sliding, sliding down to E, okay? So, And I'm just hitting the open, or you can strum. Next time round. And all I'm doing there five, three, two, open to the E. And then I'm just sliding this third finger on the E, putting my first finger on the second fret, and back down to E. So slide on the D, hit the G string, D again, and back, okay? So super slow. Second time round. I'm doing the same sort of thing there. So that, that's like the main intro, if you like, okay? Then we're just into the main verses. Or same sort of thing, right? So the only section left that I do really is this um, riff section. Okay, so let's break that down really slowly. Now, it's probably not exact to the original recording, but 
I feel like it's, you know, it's close enough. I'm never really thinking too hard about what I'm doing, especially when I'm singing and playing, right? So let me show you what I'm doing. So we start off with this B minor. And I'm hitting the A string. And then the top of E, okay? And then to get the rhythm tap, I'm hitting the B string on the downstroke and tapping at the same time. I only do it lightly, okay? Okay? Sometimes you hit the G as well, no big deal, because I don't have long nails here either. And then next, I'm going to hit the G string with my first finger. Then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to release the bar, because I'm doing the bar there. And that means the top E can ring out. And I can play E, B, okay, first and second. So let me put that together for you, so slowly. So you probably didn't see me release, because it happens really quickly, here we go. Release. Okay, that's the first bit. And then I change to this chord, it's like an A with a B in it. Okay, so I just got my first finger bar down over the D, G and B. And my pinky actually doesn't move, it still stays the fourth fret, which is also a B note um, on the G string. Okay, fourth fret on the G string. So here we go, um, let's put it together. So when I get to that, that's a bit scruffy. I'm plucking the A and the B together. Put that together. Then I hit the G string and do another rhythm tap. All together. Let's go through it slowly and I'll show you where I stop, okay? so. Okay, double pluck, rhythm tap, and I hit the G string and the A string, G string again, but I remove the pinky, and then, sorry I made a mistake there, so I move that first finger from the second fret to the first fret on the G string. Let me show you. You don't have to put that end bit on. It's just thirds, isn't it? There's your E. Slide it up like before. Second fret on the G, fourth fret on the D. Slide that up two frets. So you got fourth fret on the G, sixth fret on the D. All together, nice and slow. So there you have it, they're pretty much all the parts you need. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to receive my weekly updates. You can find me over on Instagram if you'd like to send me a request and I've got some links below to a Spotify playlist I've done. If you'd like to support me here guys, I don't get paid for these lessons so any tips or spare change you have would be massively appreciated. I've set up a donation button on my website. However, if you'd like to buy some merchandise with this cool logo, I've got t-shirts, hoodies, cups, all sorts of stuff for sale on my Teespring page as well. Once again, guys, thank you so much for your support. I love hearing from you guys, and I'll see you again the same time next week.